I want to talk about food exploration. You got a little knowledge to pass around. Yeah, this, right? I, 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 you know, I see you. You, you get your food from un unorthodox places sometimes, dumpsters, uh, trash cans, things like that. And you know, I do think about things like expiration dates, food safety, your your well-being at times like that. And I thought maybe you could use a little little insight into the nature of food expiration and safety. Well, I like to stretch the food out and save my dollars, right? So, you know, if I'm taking Excedrin from the year 2007 and giving it to people. The director's still alive. He had a headache the other day, so that was fine. Yeah, there was a recall yeah, on that. It's just, I mean, this is why we can't keep a crew. If, now I know. If you set the bar yeah. that low, that it's just survival is, yeah, that does. You can your food dollar can go a long way if you if you uh, only care about surviving. Although. On the back end, there will be a lot of medical costs that can offset the savings you get with your... Uh... Isn't that what the cholesterol pills are for, so I can eat more pizza? Uh, I Probably that would be considered just, an off-label use. That's a different segment, right? But I get it. So when your lettuce turns black or your milk is, you know, solid, like chunky you know, knife and fork milk. Got yeah, you chili. can just yeah. eat the milk, yeah. right? Well, yeah. uh, that's part of the grand dairy cycle where it goes from sort of milk to to uh, sour cream, to cottage cheese, mm. to, to proto molico, and then back into a couple of the heavier elements, and then eventually comes back around to milk again if you can keep it properly contained and prevent the air from triggering the you know, so inevitable let's get back explosion. To food expiration. To, ah, 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 that's what my goddamn cookies. Knock it out. Happy day. Be nice. Okay. Be nice. That's fine. You could have one. Um, so here's a question. Yes, a question. Yes. Is you saying that some food expiration dates, is it BS? Is it mark clever marketing or what? I, I wouldn't go as so far as say that some expiration dates are crap. Mostly they're all bullshit. Okay, I mean like rice, right? If I vacuum seal rice with my food saver, don't tell me it's gonna turn green. Well, uh, it depends. In like two months when it says, oh, it's gonna expire at the end of 2017. Well, it, it, there are different kinds of rice. You have to know the background of the rice. Did it come from a, a, a patty that's haunted? Has it been through any odd chemical processes? Has it been irradiated? Mm -hmm. Has it been enhanced? Mm -hmm. Things like that. There's Wait, a lot of questions you need to know to get Was the there a World War II right. burial ground there, for oh, example? Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. All right, so are you saying they're messing with our food? Well, of course. I mean, uh, there's 300 million consumers in America, and they all have to eat food. So obviously, it's it's a, r a rich, fertile ground for experimentation. Okay. The food I'm eating right now could have been messed with? Well, uh, yes. Like, you better eat it then. Uh, well, uh, thanks to the industrialization of uh, chicken farming, we've got uh, to the point where the entire process of chicken production is so insanely filthy that you might as well just assume any poultry product you get from the market is waiting to kill you. Oh, huh? treat it as your enemy and cook it appropriately. Are you saying mm. that an episode of Monsters Inside Me could happen with my Chick-fil-A nuggets at it, the wrong, it, it, you know? From the looks of you, it could be happening right now on multiple fronts. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> so I have Monsters Inside Me right now. I, I, yeah, it would be the way I would bet, yeah. 50-foot tape warmer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't like knowing when the, the lieutenant over there is on her asparagus cleanse. It's, it's not fun. Yeah. I'm okay if they alter it that way, but hey, people want to get a hold of you, follow you, just follow you at, at the Fact Rat, am I at right? At the Fact Rat on Twitter, at the Fact Rat on Instagram, search for Weberly Rattencraft on that Facebook piece of shit place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But what if Zuckerberg comes in and goes, I'm buying this set and hiring you guys, and we're going to do Facebook videos of Weberly documentary rat. Well, in that babies. case, obviously Facebook would be friggin' awesome. I think Fred Food <laughs> would be way better. Actually, Much better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm, good. Hey, and then we should write the book on good genetic uh, modifications, like the broccoli pea right. modification. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's a, we'll get right on that. Liquid, All right. Liquid cookies. Mm, for the gimp. Mm. Yeah. Gimp liquid time. cookies. That's hey, a, there you go. A, that's an untapped niche market, yeah. Oh, they're hard times. Ladies and gentlemen, Weberly. Mm -hmm. <laughs>